I'm gonna listen to this. Holy shit. Getting this big and deadly could take decades. And sometimes we can tell the age of a fossil animal by cutting a thin section of their bone and counting the lines of arrested growth. Kind of like the growth rings you count on the inside of a tree trunk. These lines are formed when the animal's metabolism slows down dramatically, usually during the winter. So in effect, each line represents a year of age. A fossil of one Sarcosuchus individual, estimated to have died at 80% of its maximum potential size, was found to have been about 40 years old based on these growth lines. So from this, we can extrapolate that they reached their full monstrous size at about 60 years of age. There's still a lot left to learn about this magnificent species. We've only discovered a handful of fossils, but excavations are ongoing. Their fossils are mostly found in deserts in remote areas of North Africa. Some of the most recent discoveries took place in Tatooine, Tunisia, a place that was the shooting location for a famous desert planet in a somewhat popular space opera. It's wild to think that that area was once a lush forest. But hey, the Earth changes, and those changes are what make evolution happen. So 
what should we talk about next? Please let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for coming along on this journey through time. I'll see you later. Ooh. So this is the tooth of T-Rex. This is the actual size. Only about this much would have stuck out of the mouth. With teeth this big, T-Rex could chew anything apart that it wanted. Literally, it would grab animals and tear them into chunks and swallow the chunks whole, bone and all. Hi, my name's Mark Rowan. I'm a paleontologist at the University of Utah and the Natural History Museum of Utah. I love watching movies. I love dinosaurs. I especially love dinosaurs. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey! Oh, you 1993. Ah, yes. Yes. Also, that's a so girl. Is, that's a girl T Rex. Of course they did. Are the sounds of Jurassic Park realistic? No, they're not. Sure. Animals like oh. T Rex had huge resonating chambers. They had air In movies, they're not real, but yes, that's how they sound like. Their belly. This would have been part of the soundboard that brings the sound out on t -rex. The kind of sound that would stop your heart for a second. Do not move. The T-Rex are blind. The actual paleontologist who was the character study of Dr. Alan Grant and also an advisor on the film was Dr. Jack Horner. Jack Horner came up with the idea that the olfactory portion of the brain is relatively bigger than it is in other dinosaurs. So people started saying T-Rex had a really good sense of smell, therefore T-Rex was a scavenger. And then this went further. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. Oh. Turtle, just follows its nose. T-Rex has Hello. Hello at the east side. Field of view of Hello at the east side. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Ito po at is uh, nag nag drawing po. Ka thank you po for the five bits. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the bits at the is uh, um ka kapan pa ako nag stream pero namatay yung phone ko. Nag naglock yung screen ko. So like um after I ate dinner, the, um, I, I also I went down to eat dinner a few hours ago, and then pagbalik ko naglock ng screen, but namatay yung stream ko. So like this is at in continuation. I'm drawing three memes actually. Hmm. <laughs> Nakahapol din. Thank you for the water water reading po at the isay. I was actually lurking in your stream for like few minutes because I, I saw you you were watching Uncle Roger <laughs> hey <laughs> thank thank you for the great at the east side thank you thank you thank you <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> I appreciate that Valita <laughs> ours hey Ito, nakikinig, nakikinig lang ako ano ng mga paleontologist reviews. Hello, cues! Oh, wow. <laughs> Sumama ka pala sa, ano, sa raid niya ni Ate Isay. Sheesh! Let's go! Let's go, let's go. Oh! Wait, ano to? Ano yung narinig ko? Wait lang. Ay, o nga pala. Yes. Oh, shit. 
yung poison po tangen na I I I hate that holy shit Uncle Roger fuyo <laughs> El yes I'm just trying to wake myself up. <laughs> so sorry kung hindi niyo makikita yung video. Ow, oh, shit. Oh my god. Fucking heck. That Tangin ng poison yan. Yeah, I would not look at the eyes though, cause sobrang deadly. Exactly. Ah yes, with Chris Pratt. <laughs> Pala, Uter Raptor, that, that's a big raptor, holy shit. So we don't know that Velociraptors ran in packs. We actually know that Velociraptor was covered with feathers, the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park. Yeah, actually, ang pinak-original na raptor are covered with feathers. Ayo, Stegosaurus. I why not why not has been what are those for are they for display are they for protection are they for thermal regulation are the animals pumping blood into the plates to use them as a giant radiator when we look at the entire family of stegosaurus not all of them have plates this would actually argue against them being used for thermal regulation but almost certainly to me the plates on a stegosaurus are for the same reason that your cat, when it gets frightened, will stand sideways, puff up its fur, and look bigger. It's a way for Stegosaurus to say, I'm too scary, I'm bigger than you even think I am, you probably don't want to mess with me and try to beat me. But that's a herbivore. They're, I think they're a very gentle dinosaur. Oh, that's a baby. Oh. But it also has some weird upturned snout to look like a puppy. We don't have Aww, any I know, right? Stegosaur on top of me would be any different than how most of the armored dinosaurs grew up. The fact that you're changing the angle of the roof of your skull is almost certainly not possible. We do have some baby stegosaurs out there. One that actually would be about the size of a German Shepherd. Super cute. Hey yo. But at the same time, some of the things that they're doing in this reconstruction are not legitimate. Stegosaurus would have to actually break its tail, actually turn its tail spikes downward like that. Lateral oh. movements with their spikes are possible, but a downward motion like that is not. The absolute largest stegosaur spike is right about two and a half to three feet long. Having the spikes that we're showing in some views of these animals where the spikes are this long, that's a bit much. Really, this is a trend that we see in the Jurassic Park franchise. If there's a chance to make it just a little bit bigger and therefore scarier, we're gonna do that. Land of the Lost, 2009. What a priceless movie. Land of the Lost. I haven't seen that. That's something I would want to watch. 
left them on a friendly territorial line, which way nothing will distract them from each other. Run! Don't just stand there, fucking idiots, bro. We're actually learning more and more about the skin of Allosaurus and the skin of Allosaurus. Ayo, Allosaurus are actually scalier. Skin of Allosaurus basically looks like basketball. So almost. But but but. That looks like more like a Carnotaurus than I than Allosaurus. It turns out there's more time between. Allosaurus and T-Rex than there is between T-Rex and Will Ferrell. We would have had to have that put looks like more like a wait oh all of these characters Dude, together. that Allosaurus have like fur on the chin. Holy shit. Spread out! That'll conceal them! Try running a serpentine pattern! She's incapable of dropping directions! T-Rex is not a fast animal, but T-Rex is faster than Will Ferrell. Ayo. So if we think about dinosaur agility, if you have a lot of weight on either side of a pivot point, it becomes harder to pivot. The figure skater pulls their arms out to the side, and when they're doing that, they can't turn very fast. But if they want to speed up, they pull their arms in, and they will start to rotate faster. Lol. T-Rex having okay. a long tail and a head at either end of the point on which its legs are attached means that it could not turn very fast. Running in a serpentine pattern is probably a great idea against dinosaurs, but dinosaurs are generally faster than people anyway. Probably the best thing to do is stay ahead of the rest of the people in your group. Jurassic Park 3, 2001. Yes! Is it the one with the Spinosaurus? Yes, it's the one with the Spinosaurus. Hell yeah! Spinosaurus, my boy! Spinosaurus has Let's go, Spinosaurus. with Tyrannosaurus Rex for the longest meat-eating dinosaur of all time. The skull of Spinosaurus was probably a couple of inches longer than the skull of T-Rex. The body almost certainly was about five feet longer than the body of T-Rex. T-Rex outweighed Spinosaurus by a large amount. Recently, new specimens have come out and they've redrawn this picture of what Spinosaurus looks like. Spinosaurus was much closer to a shape that looked like this, with a big, long, swimming adapted tail and relatively short limbs. This animal is adapted for living in the shallow oceans and eating fish. So this animal is an aquatic hunter. It's not going to live in the same environment as T-Rex. <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! Oh no! Go! Ooh! ang buto! God damn! Dude, the Spinosaurus just broke the neck of the T-Rex! Holy fuck! Very well adapted for eating things like fish. The skull of Spinosaurus is only on the order of four to five inches wide, whereas T-Rex, which would have been almost two and a half feet wide, the bite of T-Rex would have crushed Spinosaurus' skull in a single bite. This would have not been a good match for T-Rex on the land. King Kong, 2005. Ooh. Ooh. I wait. The premise of this movie is that... Are those... No, are those no, that's, that's not Brachiosaurus, is it? Have been alive since I, the wait, 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 2005. So I, okay, so at, this is not the Skull Island. Okay, never mind. Eh, iba pala yung iniisip kong King Kong. Okay. What I do like is the way that the CGI artists rendered the sauropod long neck dinosaur. I saw the pod. Ay, wait, wait, wait. And they're actually interacting with their environment in ways that I think those are Brachiosaurus and Sauropod. These dinosaurs in this movie actually look somewhat like Brontosaurus or Apatosaurus, but at the same time, they also have the features that are present in a different group of the long-necked dinosaurs and Titanosaurus. And they were really the wide, low members of this group. Takbo! Haha. Ay gag, ano yan? Rapper kumagat sa kanya? Oh, it's a Venatosaurus. 
dinosauros. Yeah, that, that's what I actually thought. Ah, yes, Night of the Museum. Oh, tangi na yan. Ben Stiller. <laughs> Dude, the, the, the T-Rex skeleton, though, what the fuck? <laughs> Throw the bone. Oh, shit. I'm assuming that this is supposed to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but I don't recognize it. One of my problems with this is the rib does not shatter upon hitting the floor. It also is missing its belly ribs. Meaning the dinosaurs had an extra set of ribs along its belly that it actually used to breathe. But this is a fun movie. It sounds like a dream sequence to me. The Land Before Time. Yes! It's my favorite! Oh, yes! The Land Before Time. Run! Sarah! Well, little again, food! <laughs> again, we have a mix of different dinosaurs that never met each other. So, Sarah never met Littlefoot in time. Interesting that we actually hey, see molars in Triceratops. The teeth are not molars. They're actually a slicing long line of teeth. Over together, and I think we're anthropomorphizing these dinosaurs to make them cute. We actually don't Aww. know what baby long neck dinosaurs looked like inside the egg. They have huge eyes, some of them have a little beak that helps them break out of the egg, and they absolutely were just as cute as the dinosaurs in the before time. Aww. One million years BC, 1966. Oh. <laughs> Now I want to watch that. Oh. There's a lot of problems with the dinosaurs. Bro, this, this looks this like book. a stop motion movie. Stop motion. Wrong. The horns on his face are wrong. His tail is super expressive like a cat. So at the time this movie was filmed, people thought that most meat-eating dinosaurs were these slow, plodding animals that basically sat on their tail. The tripodal stance, basically a tripod between the two legs that would keep the head and the arms in the air to do whatever they want. We now know meat-eating dinosaurs walked around balanced on their legs, with their tail held high in the air at the same level as their head. It wasn't really until the 70s and 80s we started getting a picture of dinosaurs as much more dynamic, not like these climation dinosaurs in this room. One last thing I'd like to point out. Humans never coexisted with actual dinosaurs that Gagi ginawang Flintstone ang poot. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 2018. Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Wait. Ah yes. Wait, Fallen. What I really like in this clip is the volcanic eruption. You can see the beginnings of the pyroclastic. Ah, Fallen Kingdom. Wait, I think this is before Dominion World, is it? Because this is also Chris Pratt. Holy smokes! Sinoceratops. That's a different story. Sinoceratops has way too big of a nose horn. Sinoceratops. Dude, that's a fucking Carnotaurus. Oh my god. This dinosaur is famous because it's the only true horned dinosaurs related to Triceratops that actually has been found in Asia. We think it's a North American animal that walked over to Asia to live there towards the end of the Cretaceous. Carnotaurus. This is an animal that's closely related to Ceratosaurus, and it's actually quite well rendered. We actually have Carnotaurus has like a succubus horn, yes. On yes. And on the face of Carnotaurus. This is one of the best that is something we can both agree on. What it actually looked like in real life. Carnotaurus, which is from Argentina, never met a Ceratopsian dinosaur in its entire life. It should have been frightened and amazed by the size of its head and probably just run away. But it's interesting the way that Sinoceratops is using its frill to protect its neck. The whole head toss, um, Sinoceratops does not have a neck that is strong enough Tapos ko lang tong video na to. Tapos raid na tayo. Shot. T-Rex wins as it would win against any dinosaur. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, yeah. 
Ay, for gore! O oh, nga pala, no? Yung Fantasia. This was never... Saving the best for the last, huh? Stegosaurus vs. T-Rex. This classic Disney movie gave us one of our first glances of dinosaurs in the ecosystems in which they live. Now, there's some problems here. Allosaurus, it's facing off with Stegosaurus, its natural mortal enemy, because we find Stegosaurus and Allosaurus. Hey, Gaggy, I thought it was going to be my bad. I thought it was going to be T-Rex. I love T-Rex, my bad. And Parasaurolophus and Triceratops who are watching this fight. We know that some of the depictions of some of these dinosaurs with Allosaurus kind of standing on its tail. But it looks too dead. It looks too dead before an Allosaurus. Holy shit. It looks like a T-Rex. But again, this is an important movie because it really set the stage for dinosaurs being these iconic beasts of the past. We follow up with other movies all the way into the 60s in which we're depicting dinosaurs in a similar way to Disney's animated. And then it really was Jurassic Park that broke the mold and started showing yes. us in the Let's ways go. that we see them today. Jurassic Park. I hope that you've enjoyed dissecting some of these animals as much as I have. Nice one. Nice and nicer.